what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel how you doing hi the kids i am q the costa rican coach of the chicago dragapults and today we are in the ndl facing off in week one facing off against my man jv coach of the land of Victinis. yes none other than jv himself i know you know him just like i do my man's a prolific battler link to the channel will be in the description down below make sure you check out his side if you want to and uh, yeah, let's real quick before we look at my team, let's talk about the team that my man Jay could be bringing today because it is literally insane, this man's team. So he has Urshifu Single Strike, he has Toxapex, he has Sylveon, Arcanine, Noivern, Heracross, Sand Slash, Manectric, Seismitoad, Celebi, and Clawitzer. So yeah, that is the team that my man could potentially be bringing today to the fight. If you want to know a lot about his team, Go check out his uh, draft analysis. It's on his channel. It's beautiful. It's beautiful draft analysis. Go check it out. Uh, but yeah, man. Very worried about Urshifu and Sylveon. And Toxapex can be very annoying. And Teleport Arcanine can be very annoying. And yeah. But anyways, the team that we're going to be bringing today. Obviously, we got our boy Ham Sandwich here. I just realized before I started recording this that I'm a cursed body. I'm supposed to be clear body so that I don't get intimidated by Arcanine. Um, we're just going to rock with it and just see how it goes. I'm not really too concerned um i do think clear body would be better but like i guess i guess i don't know if, if we give it arcanine early then it won't matter or if he doesn't bring arcanine then it won't matter but i feel like arcanine uh could show up but um you know uh, but anyway yeah with dragon darts phantom force disable and dragon dance now i'm rocking out the, with the cobra berry now typically you wouldn't keep your dragon bolt in on urshifu's wicked blow right no one no one in their right mind would ever do that because it's stupid honestly like you, you're gonna you're gonna freaking stay in on a move that always crits from a god dang urshifu so that's why we're rocking out with the cobra berry because it actually does still weaken the damage from wicked blow even through the crit now any any base dragapult in the in the entire game will never live uh, a crit w wicked blow even with the cobra berry but because we have the dumbest ev spread in the game with um hold on i want to know what this exact ev spread is kind of it is 180 defense and 116 HP, which will allow us to guarantee from full always live a life orb adamant wicked blow from Urshifu. Now, choice bandit wicked blow still has a what is that 18% chance to knock us out, even through Cobra at full HP. So it's kind of crazy. If my man gets up rocks against me, this set goes completely out the window. We don't have is then we don't have a way to hit Urshifu anymore. Because now he guaranteed knocks us out after rocks. So that's a little unfortunate. If he does get up rocks, which he has ample opportunity to do so. But that is that is what it is. Hopefully, I just want Dragon Ball to 1v1 Urshifu. It's not going to. Otherwise, in this match, like this is like the first matchup where I honestly considered not bringing Dragon Ball. Mainly because it is so like, like, uh, Toxpex doesn't die from any one hit. Um, Urshifu can, actually does live a plus one Dragon Darts. So I have to get a little bit of chip on him before we even start that. Um... Sylveon needs up hits. A lot of his Pokemon is like eat up hits from Dragapult. So this is actually the very first match I've ever um, considered not bringing Dragapult. But I had to. I had to for the culture. It's week one of the NDL. I was not going to not bring my S tier. You know what I mean? Or whatever, tier one or whatever it is. Up next, we have physically defensive Womanda Buzz holding the Rocky Helmet because of course she is. Um, rocking out with Brave Bird, knock off Roost and the U-turn. U-turn is obviously for pivoting. Roost is for longevity. Knock off is to get rid of items. And Brave Bird is for Urshifu. We can eat up. A Wicked Blow into Thunder Punch every time uh, from Adamant Life Orb, uh, Urshifu. And fire off a sick Bray Bird and try and knock it out after it close combats me. Actually, do we live... A th yeah, we live a Wicked Blow in a close combat was the calc I was actually referring to. So, yeah. Um, up next, we have another defensive check to Urshifu. Primarina, a.k.a. Becky. Um, what is this? Bold Nature? Bold Nature rocking out with the Leftovers for Longevity. With Scald, Moonblast, Psychic, and Toxic. This... Um, these these three moves, these three attacking moves, in my opinion, gave me the best coverage for his team. Skull hits Arcanine. It can hit Sand Slash. Could potentially burn Heracross, but if he's Guts, I don't want to do that. Um, what's it? Moonblast gets rid of Urshifu easily. Can handle Noivern. Can handle uh, Heracross. Uh, does a lot of damage to everyone else. That's not Sil uh, that's not Toxapex or Sylveon. Um, and Psychic is for Toxapex. I was thinking, I was like debating, do I run Energy Ball or Psychic? And I was like, well, I feel like Toxapex is the more safe ring. And maybe to like attempt to wall uh, Primarina. I could see it like a Spadef Toxapex for sure. Um, and then we got Toxic for the Sylveon and potentially the Seismitoad. Uh, if he does opt to bring that. So that's what we're rocking out with here. I'm hoping Primarina. I feel like Primarina's gonna put have to put in a lot of work, both defensively and offensively, if I want to win this game. 
Um, up next, we have Fuego Diego da Rotam Heat. Rocking out with the boots, my dedicated defog with Overheat, Volt Switch, Defog, and Toxic. Toxic for the Side of the Toad and the Sylveon. And, and potentially the Arcanine as well, depending on his set. I mean, then we just need defog because, like I said, if he gets up rocks, and in the end game it's Dragapult versus Urshifu, I'm not winning that uh, exchange because of rocks. So I'm going to get rid of So I'm going to have to, like, sacrifice Rotom to get rid of him, even though Urshifu Oko's max defense, max HP Rotom, which I'm not right now. I believe I'm... I actually believe I'm Spadef for to have a dedicated Sylveon switch, and I believe. And then up next, we have Pillow Swine. Didn't give him a nickname because I'm going to get... I'm going to let him earn one. Um, rocking out with the Eviolite, of course, obviously, it's a Pillow Swine. With Earthquake, Ice Shard, Toxic, and Stealth Rocks. This is a Rocker. Uh, Toxic, again, once again, for Seismitoad and Sylveon. Uh, or Arcanine. Actually, Earthquake. I'll probably just Earthquake the Arcanine. Um, and then Ice Shard uh, does minimum 93% to non-invested uh, Noivern. And yeah, so that's kind of what we got here. We're max Attack, Max HP, I believe. Maybe. I was thinking about, like, maybe I should run a more Spadef set to have another... Um, answer to his special attackers, not answer, but another like, you know, pivot to his special attackers, but uh, I'm opting with this set because I feel like Ice Shard could be pretty clutch in this game. Um, and then last but not least, we have Becky Simp, aka Durant, the warrior, the proud champion, uh, Jolly Nature, rocking out with the Life Orb, the hustle, so we may end up missing some moves, guys. Um, knock on wood. Uh, with First Impression, because it just does damage, Iron Head, Stopping Tantrum, and Rock Slide. A First Impression into Stopping Tantrum will not Oko, Max Defense, um, Pex. But, if I miss my first impression into Stomping Tantrum, I will Oko Max Defense Pex. Why do, do, does that happen? Because Stomping Tantrum's a, uh, damage output doubles if you miss the previous turn. So, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, so, basically, we just got to at least land, you know, the Stomping Tantrum, right? But, anyways, that is the team that we're going to bring in. I'm very nervous about this fight because JV and I know each other very well. We, we help each other team prep for almost every battle in all the other leagues we're in. Um... So, like, just when you find someone you know, like, it's going to be a really good game. Or they're just going to capitalize on mistakes and you're just, they're just going to win and mess you up. I really, Like, Urshifu, even though I have Mandibuzz and Primarina and, like, Cobra Bay with Dragapult, Urshifu can literally still just win this game on his own. Because uh, he can Oko, like, my back three guys with Wicked Blow or Close Combat with uh, Close Combat on, uh, what's that thing called? Pillow Swan, I believe. And then, uh, after Rocks, can Oko Dragapult and... If he plays his Urshifu correctly, he can easily handle Primarina and uh, Mandibuzz. I was actually doing some mock battles on just a regular OU ladder. And a freaking um, Thunder Punch and a Poison Jab knocked out my Primarina uh, from Life Orb. Uh, I'm assuming Adam and Urshifu. So, yeah, it was a little upsetting. Um, <laughs> so, hopefully he opted for Thunder Punch over Jab. That's what I'm hoping for. But either way, uh, yeah, like I said, that's the team we're going to be bringing to the fight. And I'll see you all when the battle starts. All right, and we see the team my man brought. Pretty much the team we assumed he was going to bring. Urshifu Pex, Noivern, Skizmatoad. Wow, he did bring Skizmatoad. So, I'm glad we have Toxic on a lot of our guys. He let me take a very quick picture so I don't forget my man's team. Um, now, Primarina is such a good lead here. Um, but I feel like he sees that. Um, even if he does see that, though, it's still a good-ass lead unless he leads, like, Hyper Beam, Specs, uh, Sylveon. Here, let me just, uh, put that right there. That'll be good. Alright, so yeah. Uh, Primarina is such a good lead here. Outside of, like I said, a Hyper Beam, Sylveon. I could lead Pillow Swan and go straight for Rocks. Um, I feel like he might lead, um, Seismitoad and go straight for Rocks. I'm just, so I'm just gonna lead Primarina and see how it goes after that. So yeah, we already said good luck, have fun to each other, and yeah, man, we're gonna get it done. See how it goes. Whew, I'm ready. I'm ready to get six old by Urshifu, fruit weather. See how it goes. Alright. Honestly, though, if you let Sylveon, it's gotta be Specs, in my opinion. He could be bluffing the Specs, but I feel like if you're Specs Sylveon and you're leading off with it, you're clicking a... Just click Hyper Beam, bro. You're gonna knock something out. Because Hyper Beam will knock out Primarina. Hyper Voice won't, but Hyper Beam will. So, yeah, we'd have to swap into Rotom and take 50%. It, it would be unfortunate. But, yeah, it would be unfortunate, to be honest. All right, he leads off with Froppy. So, he does want to just get up his rocks, which I, is commendable. It's commendable, honestly. So, that's unfortunate. We're going to have to get Rotom in sometime soon. <laughs> Good news is we can Toxic this thing. He has only one Toxic immunity, and that's Pex. And I don't think, uh, I don't think he's going to swap out into it. I think he's just going to get his rocks up turn one, like he should. Man, I was thinking about bringing Lycanroc for this exact moment to taunt his lead, but it's whatever. We're good. We'll get up our rocks with Pillow Swine uh, after we defog later. Um, we can safely defog on Sylveon, kind of. That's really about it. Oh, don't go into Pex, please. Peekaboo, that's Pex. 
Dang, bro. Do we reveal the psychic? I don't really want to reveal the psychic. I should have just hard moon blast. That would have been nice. All right, so how much how much does a psychic do to Pex? We can run Calx. We can run Calx. The the way he went out into it right there leads me to believe that uh, this is Spadef investing. So let's see. A psychic does little damage. So we get basically nothing out of that turn if we choose to do that. Um, we can just reveal psychic. Um, and I'm doing it for the culture, to, to be honest. I'm going to see I'm gonna see what kind of spread he is. Is he defensive? Is he special defensive? We're going to find out. We are packing the Psychic. That did... What that do? About 30-ish? He does go for T-Spikes. We do not have a, a Poison type on the field. So let's see. 30 to 34. Oh, uh, no. That's not special defense. He, he might have a little special defense, but that doesn't look like it's max special defense. So what would his Psychic switch in be? Uh, everyone, like, just Urshifu, but he's not going into Urshifu in front of this thing. He's probably just gonna get his T-Spikes up, which is smart. But like I said, Rotom will defog and can defog. And I'm just clicking Psychic again. Because even if Urshifu wants to come in, he's not knocking me out. He's calking right now, and he knows that I'm not, sp uh, I'm not, uh, uh, what's it called, fully invested in offense stats. I'm, s I'm just straight up max defense, max HP. I think I might have like 12 special attacks. And if he goes Urshifu, then he made a big, big boy play. Nope, goes right into Froppy. So we doing this again? <laughs> we doing this again? I could see him definitely packing the, the Toxic on this man. Let's see what that is. That's, he's lefties. That could potentially be specially invested. Uh, to, to deal with this thing, I could see it. Go ahead and go for your Toxic. Cause I'm going for my Toxic, bro. I've already showed you what I wanted to do in front of this thing. I guess Primarina was a decent lead, cause I really I don't like I don't have anything else to hit this Seismitoad like at all like actually, I actually have nothing to hit this Seismitoad, <laughs> and just go for rocks. Okay, so bro, as soon as we get it, we just need to get Rotom in on Sylveon or Pex, and then we could safely defog. <laughs> go for the Toxic. Um, now I guess I guess he could Toxic himself, or he could start going for damage. Um, I think I'm just gonna Moonblast. Um, because I don't really, yeah, I don't really have any other play to make right here. I really don't feel like swapping. There's no reason to. I don't want to get anyone poisoned. I don't want to take any rocks chip with anyone. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to, I kind of want a Psychic. One of these, not Moonblast is always better. It does more damage. I know Psychic could lower this Bedef, but Moonblast is just always better. And, you know, plus like no free Yarchifu switch-ins. And he does go for Toxic himself and lands it. Almost went hard to rant. Almost went hard to rant for no reason. Cause uh, even even Durant can't touch this thing because he resists my Iron Head. So like, yeah, it's like not even worth. Um, uh, nice. Load his special attack. So if he's a special attack, you might want to swap now. I low key want to just swap into Rotom like right here for like no reason. I don't think he would Scald. Like if anything, he clicked a Jab if he has it. Um, or Earth Power. Well, like, let's see. We saw Rocks Toxic, Rocks Toxic. I'm assuming Scald. Yeah, let's just go hard Rotom here. If he scalds, then, then whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're just going to do it. We don't have much answers for this Seismitoad, but I feel like he would value swapping right now. 100%. I don't know what. I don't know. If it's Urshifu, then it's Urshifu. And then he made a great play on our part, on his part. But I'm glad I'm boots on Rotom Wash. I wouldn't wash. I wouldn't heat. Almost didn't bring boots on Rotom Heat because I was all like, he ain't clicking rocks. But then I'm like, you know what? It's week one. He's probably clicking rocks. So he sees that we're rocks. He does go for the knockoff. I mean, he sees that we're boots. So he gets literally the best play he could possibly get at that moment. But good news for us. Um, this Seismitoad is getting, getting you know, t chipped. Toxic is racking up. And if we can defog and get rid of this thing all in one turn, that'll be so good. But I, I think if I'm him, I just click rocks here. Because my defog is just so obvious. Uh, so if I'm him, he probably just clicks rocks here. But we're going to see how he plays it. I love the nickname, by the way. Froppy, that's what I nicknamed all my Seismitoads back when I had it in the INT. International Nexus Tournament, hosted by Better Cahoots, of course. Am I recording? I am recording. Okay, good. I did not have a drink by me. I would love a drink right now. I am I am parched. My throat is dry. And I'm nervous. I'm defogging, bro. It's very obvious that I'm defogging. If I'm him, I just go hard Urshifu, honestly. The defog is so obvious. My boots have been knocked off. I can't even switch in anymore, bro. Like honestly, he should go hard Urshifu in my opinion. Like that would be such a that'd be such a good play for him. And I don't ha I can't call it because I have to defog, bro. Like I have to. 
Well, he stealth rocks. He either stealth rocks or uh, goes hard Urshifu. I'm, I'm curious to see what he does, though. He probably just cocked that damage to see what knockoff did. And he does go out into Boomin, which is the Noivern. Is this Specs Noivern? I'm about to find out. Is he Frisk? We don't know if he's Frisk or not. I don't know if Frisk pops up even if you don't have an item. But, yeah, either way, this is what we did. Um, I kind of just... I kind of just want to Toxic this thing, not going to lie. Um, but I feel like he might drop a Draco here. Primarina is technically my switch into this. Actually, it's technically Pillow Swine. Um, I really don't want to lose my Defogger. I'm just going to Volt Switch. It's neutral, because he's part Dragon, part Flying, so it's neutral. Um, but I feel like he could have safely drop a Draco here if he really wanted to. And he goes for the Boom Burst. Are we living? Okay, we are living. Is he Throat Spray? He's not Throat Spray. He's not Specs. Oh, wait. I am Spadef. He might be Specs. Hold on. Let me find out. Let me find out. Let me find out. Let me find out. Noivern. Uh, offensive Pivot. Let's see. Boom Burst. Boom Burst to Rotom. Uh, did about 32. I think he's plus... How much did that do, actually? Plus one would have done 47 to 56. Which, which looks like is about what it did. What am I at? 37? 37? I'm at 13%. Yeah, yeah. I want to say that's specs, actually. Um. So, I, that really makes me want to go. Uh, freaking. How much is Primarina? How much is it due to Primarina? Uh, specs Boom Burst does a lot of damage. Uh, but Moonblast will knock it out, which I don't think. Uh, so, I don't think he stays in and does that. Alright, let me go Primarina. I really do want to go Dragapult here, but if I Dragon Darts, he's just going to go into Sylveon for free, so I don't want to do that. So, yeah. He's probably wondering why I didn't go Dragapult and just drop a Draco, but it's because of Sylveon, which is why I didn't. So, it is what it is. Do we take Toxic damage when we switch in like this? I think we do. Yeah, we do. Okay, it's whatever. Um, so, Boom Burst will be doing a lot of damage here if he specs, like we're speculating. Haha. -ha. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to go for the Moonblast. If he wants to go Toxic Specs, a Moonblast and a Psychic will do a decent amount of damage. He does withdraw, probably in a Pex. Froppy, no. Okay, sacks off the Seismitoad. This should knock you out, right? Are we faster than Toad? Um, It does knock it out. Nice. Well, after the, I think after the Poison it does. Let me look up Toad's speed. Oh, he is faster than me, naturally. So he could potentially get up his rocks here. Come on, Toxic. Do your thing, baby. Dang, bro. That did nothing. Yeah, he's going to get his rocks up here, which is unfortunate. I think I go hard Rotom. I think I go hard Rotom. I'm doing it. No rocks, brother. He should definitely click rocks here. Maybe I could have just went to Rant. And threaten something. I'm like that. Didn't want to switch in after the rocks. He does go for rocks. It's very smart. So yeah, he easily can go anything that's faster and uh, destroy me. So our dragapult, our dragapult strat is out the window now because we can't defog anymore. Unless he lives this. Please live. I don't think he does because it's the second turn of toxic chip. Please live. No, unfortunate. So the only way we can get a defog off is if he goes Sylveon, or if he goes Toxapex. But he should 100%. Go either Urshifu or someone, just anyone that, or Noivern, and literally anyone that's faster. Anyone that's faster. Um, to prevent our default. But if he doesn't, I'll be very grateful. Like if he goes Arcanine and he's not speed invested, bro, that'll be great. But he might, uh, I'm assuming, like if I were him, I'd just go Urshifu and click U turn. Like what do you lose from that turn? You know what I mean? Nothing. I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose my Rotom, which is unfortunate. He goes out into Boomin. Okay, if you want, he's probably going to Boom Burst here because it just makes sense. But if he doesn't, if he does not, um, we could Defog. If he just tries to go for a Draco and misses, bro, we can Defog. But he's not going to. He, he should Boom Burst here 100%. And he does Boom Burst. And we do go down. It's so unfortunate, bro. Ugh. Well, here's what we can do. How much does Boom Burst do to... Uh, How much does Boom Burst do to uh, Pillow Swine at plus one? Pillow Swine eats it up. Honestly, for being honest, 
All right, yeah. All right, let's do that. Let's go Pillow Swine and click rocks. Let's go Pillow Swine and click rocks. I think that's what I'm ready for. I'm ready to click rocks. I could just Ice Shard and knock this thing out, but I, I need rocks. I want rocks. Look at that chip we're taking from the rocks. Uh, let me click rocks. The Ice Shard is very obvious here, but I'm just going to click rocks. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I, mean, I want the rocks up. I need them. I need him. If there's going to be rocks up on my side, I want rocks up on his side. Alright, he does swap out. Fearing the Ice Shard, he goes on to Peekaboo. But I got my rocks up. Uh, and how much is... I don't even, I'm not even going to calc how much Earthquake does. I'm just going to go for it because that's my play. Every time. Uh, if he gets up T-Spikes, that's going to suck. That's going to really suck. Actually, you know what? I guess I should calc, right? No, I'm just going to click it because... Calking it doesn't change my 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 move, in my opinion. I still click it. We're just going to see how much damage it does. Because uh, he probably just... If he could click Scald here. Do a decent amount. Possibly burn me as well. Um, we are fast here, which is nice. I click EQ. That is a, that is a 2 KO if, I, if I've ever seen one. Let's go for it. Knock off. Knocks off the Eviolite. Alright, if he wants to go Noivern here, that's fine with me. Um, because I just Ice Shard the next turn anyways. And he doesn't have another um, switch into this. So I'm just going to click Earthquake. I don't think he lets his pecs go down though. I think he might go Toad's Dead. He might go Sylveon. Which I would then Toxic. Um, but yeah, if he goes Northern, I just click Ice Shard. So uh, I don't know what he wants to do here. I assume he values his Toxic pecs a little more. Because like, you could get spikes up on something. 100%. I shouldn't have went hard Rotom on the Toad. I should have went a threat on the Toad and then got Rotom. Well, Rotom would have died to rocks anyways. That's why I went hard Rotom. Alright, so he does swap out into Yemi. Oh my god. Alright, so this thing is doing damage. So here's the thing, right? We got our rocks up. We did some nice chip. We got our rocks up, right? That is some nice chip if I've ever, if I've ever seen one. Uh, I'm just going to click Ice Shard to get some damage off. Um, and then, oh man, I can't go Dragapult. Okay, uh, based on, no, based on his damage, we really won't see anything. Um, he does not, hold on. Hopefully he didn't go for bulk up. He goes for close combat, nice. Okay, so Urshifu. Urshifu. Uh, we don't know what he is, so I can't go Dragapult here. Like, we don't know what his set is. I have to go Primarina. Um, and then click a button. Um, Primarina would be good for... Primarina would be better for um, Sylveon in the end game, but so is Durant. I could go Durant and just click first impression. I think I should do that instead, actually. I think I should just go Durant and click first impression, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like that's the better play. He can go, um, what's that thing called? The dog. Arcanine, he can go Arcanine. But, um, I feel I still think a stomping tantrum might knock it out. I guess I could calc that, but, oh, the rocks. He's in, brothers. I'm clicking it. First impression, as long as I land, right? Knocks him out every time. But he clicks CC. Because he knew I wouldn't, I couldn't go hard draggable. He just knew it. So, Noi, that's, uh, Banded. Banded the Arcanine. Is he Rocky Helmet or is he actually Banded? He's not Boots. All right, is he Scarf, though? He is Rocky Helmet. Okay, never mind. We knock him out with uh, Stomping Tantrum. He might not have seen my Life Orb chip because of the Rocky Helmet chip. And he's not Intimidate. He's Flash Fire. Knock him out, baby. All right, sick. You'd love to see it. So we're not, we don't get 6-0, which is nice. But we did get a lot of chip on Durant. A lot, a whole lot of chip. So he goes Noivern here. 100% goes Noivern here. 100% um, goes Noivern here and clicks a button. But he's been clicking Boom Burst, guys. I really... You know what I mean? Like, do we really think... Um, what's this thing called? Primarina? No, no, no. Not Primarina. Um, Noivern? Uh, I guess he could go Sucker Punch or Shifu right here if he really wants to as well. Uh, Monotype Choice Scarf. Give it Boom Burst. Even though it's Specs. For whatever reason, the Choice Scarf is right here. Uh, choice. Backums. Alright, so... Uh, 
against Primarina. Boomburst is doing about half. Hurricane's doing a half. Dragapult. Oh, he does go with Shifu. So you have to be Sucker Punch. Or your Scarf. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go Prim Arena now. I want to see what he goes for here. I feel like he's got to be scarfed if he's doing this. You know what I mean? Cause, cause Durant knocks him out. I should have went Mana Buzz for the chip. I should have went Mana Buzz for the chip, for the Rocky Helmet chip. Wicked Blow. We're eating this, but I don't know if we eat up. Uh, I guess we can see it's a little bit of a spread now. That looks like Bandit to me. Urshifu Choice Ban uh, to Primarina. Actually, no. Yeah, that is, I feel like that's... Eh, it might be banded. It might be scarfed. I don't know. I'm just going to click my Moonblast button. Let's see if he's Choice Lock. Because he's not Life Orb. So I don't know if he'll knock, even knock me out with a jab now. And he does withdraw. Probably out into Peekaboo. Yep. Okay. That's fine. It's not fine. It's really not. But we're getting damage off on this thing. We are faster, so let's find out if a Moonblast into a Psychic will knock it out. Definitely not. Spatak drop? No, no Spatak drop. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. We're at about half HP. We saw that we're faster. Even though I'm pretty sure we're naturally faster than Pex. I don't know Pex speed tier off the top of my head. I just know Premium is base 60. But anyways, I want to click Psychic. He could predict that and go hard Urshifu. Um... And honestly, if he does that, I would commend him. I would commend him. We need to keep um, the bug alive for Sylveon. Otherwise, Sylveon just wins against Dragapult and Mana Buzz. I really feel like he would click. He would. He would go out into Urshifu here. Uh, but I'm just gonna click Psychic. If he makes that play, then he's he's a god. Okay, he stayed in. Woo! <laughs> All right, that does damage. And he goes for the recover. Bro, imagine we lowered your Spadef, though. Alright, is he smart to do this, though? He's really smart to do this, in my opinion. Um, but we can Dragon Dance. Oh, God. Oh, yo. We can Dragon Dance with Dragapult in front of this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Hold on, boys. Hold on, boys. Let's do that. I'm gonna click Psychic again. Uh, I really do want to click Moonbass Predicting the Urge for now, but I think he just safely... Like, Recover is just safe here. Like, he's risking the crit, but that's all he's risking. And it's only a 4% chance. <clears throat> so, like... I do... I kind of want to die in front of this thing. Uh, so I can Dragon Dance with the... Uh, I can Dragon Dance with Dragapult in front of this thing. Hold on, I need to know how much damage I do with Pult to this thing, though. Toxapex. Basically, what I'm trying to find out right now is, do I need to... Can I click Moonblast here, predicting that, like, if he wants to go Urshifu? Um, or can I safely... I kind of need a Psychic in order to kill with Pult. Otherwise, I gotta get to plus, like, four. Um, yeah. Actually, either way, he gets the maximum. So let's just call the Urshifu play, if that's what happens. Nope, he stayed in. Smart. Alright, we do Moonblast. He's definitely gonna recover. Gets a max HP. And, uh, we're gonna... Oh, he goes for Spikes. Bro, we could've got damage off on this thing. I'm pissed. Yeah, no, I lose. I lose this. <laughs> I lose this 100%. I lose this. Oh, man. We were close, guys. We were close. We were close. Durant doesn't have enough uh, HP left in him to knock everything out. Mandibuzz cannot do it by itself. Oh, no way, no how. Especially if that, um... Especially if that, uh... Sylveon set is what I think it is. Yeah, we're gonna lose here. Unfortunate. Imagine I was Heavy Duty Boots, but then... If I was Boots in this exact scenario, this would be a little bit better. Um, because then I could D-Dance in front of this thing. Knockoff won't be doing all that much. Um, but we are just gonna D-Dance. And see what he wants to go for. He should most likely knock off, in my opinion. So I gotta do it. I gotta go. I gotta. Go. I gotta try. I gotta try. But it's looking like we're gonna probably get three out here, or I think it's three out. Does go for knock off. Cobra Berry pops. This should be doing like ten. 
That did way more than I wanted it to. I'm a little upset. Um, and now I guess I just fire off a, uh... I just fire off a Dragon Darts, even though it's doing nothing to this thing. I fire off a Dragon Darts. Even though it's doing nothing to this thing. But we get the thumbnail. <laughs> that did nothing. Oh, this is Max Fizz Death. Unfortunate. He's just going to recover. No, he just knock offs. Okay. Ate it up. Not really. Honestly, I think this thing even lives in other darts. Like, he could go, he could just go safely Sylveon if he really wants to. Um, but I think this thing might even, might just eat up another darts without needing to go to Sylveon. Like, high key. I could have, I could have disabled his knockoff, but I didn't see a point. I didn't see a point. So yeah, we'll see what he does. If, if he's smart, he goes Sylveon here, just to preserve differential. Um, but I don't even think, I don't even think this Pex will die to this Dragon Darts anyways. Oh, it's four? Oh, he's about to four on me, bro. Oh, snap. Can we at least get one more kill, JV, please? Who's my last mon alive? Oh, yeah, Mandibuzz and or the bug. I should have went... I should have went Mandibuzz uh, instead of Primarina on the Urshifu. That's on me. I don't think that would have made anything matter all that much. Although, I could have gotten a nice U-turn off. And I uh, gotten a little bit of momentum. Um, but just go Sylveon, bro. You know you want to. He does withdraw. He's gonna go Sylvia. It's smart. Smart play. Boomin'. Never mind. He sacks off Noivern. Okay. The healthy mid ground. I respect it. If we live this, that'll be nice. If we can live this toxic chip right here, that would be nice. Because then we could potentially get a hit off on something. Um, actually, no, that's not true. Because our only attacking move that we can that we can hit Sylveon with is Phantom Force. And yeah. Imagine he's quick attack Sylveon. That'll be fire. And then he just goes forward right here. He goes out into Yammy. He's gotta be Sucker Punch. A, like, yeah, he's gotta be Sucker Punch. It's the only reason why he would do this. I wanna disable just to show him that I got it. But I'm just gonna Dragon Darts. <laughs> I'm just gonna Dragon Darts. He should Sucker here. He does. Okay, yeah. I wanted to disable just to show him I had it. But I feel like he's banded into that. Um, I feel like he's banded into that. Um, so we go... No, I need... I literally need my mans here. Yeah, so we have to go mana buzz. I literally need my freaking... Um, I literally need the bug in order to win. I just don't know if we have it. I don't know if we have what's left. Uh, I want a U-turn. Predicting him to swap. Into Pex. Okay, he does. He goes on a Lucy. Alright, cool. We get to go, we get to go Durant. She takes Rock's chip, right, right, right. Yes, 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 yes. Is she scarfed? Find out today. That did little damage. Not lefties. Okay, not lefties. Let's do it, Durant. It was always going to be you. It was always going to be you, Durant. How much chip are we taking? That's a that's a little bit of chip. Okay, so in theory, here's lefties. So in theory, I'm assuming he's max defense. We could crit flinch. We could just crit, which would be good. We could flinch. Or it could not be max defense. We could just knock it out. Let's hope for that. Let's hope for that one, right? He withdraws. Smart man, that man. Goes out into Peekaboo, which should eat this up. But it won't eat this up into a stomping tantrum. Ho I hope I miss. Miss, 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 miss. Damn. That actually did some damage. So I wanted to miss to preserve my life orb damage. So yeah. Uh we don't lose we don't win this now. No way, no how. No way, no how. But we do get to, you know, make it look a little bit better on the stat sheet. Um, Lucy, Lucy uh, what's it called? Sylveon's going to be able to clean up um, if her Shifu doesn't get it done. So let's see what he does here. <laughs> Either way, it was a decent-ass game. There was a few plays that I could have done differently, which would have uh, 
I definitely should have went Mandibuzz instead of Primarina the first time Urshifu came in. I think that would have been the better play in my opinion. Um, for me anyways. Uh, we do get one more hit. I wish I had Protect or something. Because Urshifu is going to go for Sucker Punch if he's smart. Or if he's... I guess if he's Quick Attack Sylveon, he could do that too. He has gone to Yami. Yo, Rocks Chip, please. Oh, I can't first impression. Unfortunate. I just want to do it, right? I just want to... I just want to do it. Because he should Sucker here. Like, this is going to do nothing but show him that I know he wanted to Sucker. That's literally all this is doing. Oh, no! I could have just knocked him out. I hate this man. <laughs> Oh, it's unfortunate. He's probably all like, bro, you know first impression doesn't go, you know, only happens for the first turn. I know this. I know, JV. I just wanted to show you that I could make that play. So here's what we're going to do, right? We're going to roost. Because we live a close combat. Or do we Brave Bird? I think we roost. There's two Brave Birds. Not no, there's no way two Brave Birds knock out Sylveon. We have to roost. I could have just knocked this thing out, bro. I should have just done it. I should have just done it. That's fine. It's okay. We're gonna be alright. If I was the weak armor set, maybe I had a chance. <laughs> maybe I had a chance in this end game. Depending on if he attacks me right here. And he would have just attacked me. I could have, bro. I could have done it. That did little damage. But I could have just knocked out this this freaking Urshifu as well with Durant. Not have been a problem. But it's a 1-0 for my opponent here. So that's actually pretty good on him. Uh, there's no way I, I win. I lose. I mean, there's no way I beat Sylveon with Mana Buzz. There's just no way. It's impossible. Um, I'd have to be like Roselli Berry, Crit, Iron Head, Flinch. Let's find out if he's Speed Invested. That's the first step, I guess. Lucy! That's the first step, I guess. Is he Speed Invested? That's the question. I definitely could have played this, uh, this, this a little bit better. 100%. But, but you know... The better player one, to be honest, if we're being honest with ourselves. I am faster. No speed investment on Sylveon. Probably just max defense. Damage. Let's see. Does this hyper voice kill me? It should, because he specs. Nice knockout. Oh, unfortunate, brothers. Honestly, though, this would have been this would have went the exact same way had I had I not had I just iron headed the Urshifu anyways. So yeah, it doesn't. I think it doesn't really matter in my opinion. Get those ro letting those rocks get up was the was the the pivotal the pivotal moment. I should have brought double defog. I should have brought double defog. To be honest, to be honest. But yeah, man, GG's to my man JV. It was a great match. Nice one zero victory for yourself. I think I think he pitied me in my opinion, going hard Noivor and on the Dragapult because the the Sylveon was just a safer play. Um. But uh, yeah, I think he pitted me for the for the he like he wanted to not he didn't want it to look too bad because he, he could have literally four would from that position in my opinion. But uh, I I, repre I appreciate it, JV. <laughs> um, either way, uh, that is going to be week one of the NDL. If you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>